hey guys welcome and welcome back to another video so guys uh, today we want to talk about 10 medical reasons 10 medical reasons to why somebody can suffer from low sperm count 10 medical reason that causes low sperm count so guys if you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe like the video share comment don't forget to turn the notification bell so that every time i post a video you'll be the first person to be notified and again guys low sperm count is epidemic everyone everywhere you go everyone is complaining about low sperm count almost everyone of course not everyone like everyone but of course most people are complaining a low sperm count each and every time people are are, are really suffering from infertility Co cases or conditions couples are going through infertility cases some of them doesn't know even uh, the cause some of them doesn't know that they the problem is low sperm count some of them blame their wife because ladies have been the victim of contributing to infertility when they there is an infertility condition or case in a, a family or when couples are going through infertility issues ladies are the people who have been accused of having the problem but no guys infertility in fact if you want to treat couples with infertility cases you have to look at the cause from which from from both couples from both partners if you are treating infertility case you don't only treat the woman or you don't only treat the the, the man you treat both of them you, you 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 look for the reason why they are going through that that issues that issue not that issues that issue you look possible reason that can cause this the problem so guys away from that let us talk about a uh, medical reason that can cause a uh, low sperm count number one is overweight overweight and obesity are things that most of the time they usually or uh, people they they mostly cause or they are contributing factors to hypertension diabetes type 1 or maybe let me say heart diseases but uh, with infertility people are not sure what are the contributing factor or the relationship between infertility and obesity so obesity and infertility it is because maybe there is a production excess a production of heat that might damage the sperms yeah and also there might be a, a imbalance because of the obesity imbalance of the hormone hormones because of the obesity so if there is imbalance of hormones then automatically this person will suffer from low sperm count reason number two is uh, hormonal disorders we know very well that for a person to uh, produce quality sperms this person uh, the pituitary gland the hypothalamus the testicles and also the tube that carry the sperms must be uh, normal and must be healthy in case these uh, uh these this these these things these uh the hypothalamus the testicles the the tube are not normal or they are not healthy then there will be a negative impact in the on the sperms so hormones also contribute to low sperm count number three is undescended testicle when a child is born sometimes when the child is born especially when they are born when they are under well, before time you find that 
when I say before term, that is before 37 weeks, you find that the testicles are still in the abdominal cavity. So, uh, and if you are not careful, then they might not uh, descend out of the, the, the abdominal cavity. Whereby, if you realize that uh, the, the uh, testicle have not descended, then you're supposed to go and see a specialist so that they are removed before they, they are damaged by heat, of uh, internal heat. So, and descended testicle, which has not been descended, descended from the abdominal cavity, can contribute to low sperm count because of the higher temperature within the the body also infection some infection that can cause blockage of the the tube that carries sperms to the penis such as stis if you don't treat your gonorrhea people are really suffering from stis and they don't say if you don't treat gonorrhea if you don't treat chlamydia if you don't treat prostitutes, if you don't treat urinary tract infection, these conditions can uh, block the tube that carries the sperms to the penis. And then, or they can narrow, they can cause a scar within the tube. And then you find that when sperms are being produced, they cannot come out, all of them. Number five, we have problem with the ejaculation. If a man cannot ejaculate or experience retro, uh, retrograde ejaculation where the semen enter the bladder rather than the emerging into the tip of the penis, then you will like, realize or the, the man will suffer from a uh, low sperm count because most of the sperm is getting inside the bladder and most of the sperm is supposed to get outside so that the uh, should get outside the penis or through the the tube to the tip of the penis, then the man the, the man will suffer from low sperm count because there is that retrograde ejaculation. Also, uh, uh, varicocele, varicocele sometimes. The vein that drain the testicle be, be, become swollen, and this condition is called uh, varicocele, and it keeps the testicle from coiling off like they sh uh, they they should. Then increase testicular temperature can reduce palm count. Varicocele can be treated and even improve uh, both sperm quality and overall fertility. Also, we have tumors that damage the testicles, yeah, and also maybe damage the tube that carry the sperm or block. Tumors can be cancerous or non-cancerous, but they can cause blockage of the tube and also they can damage the, uh, the, the, what, the, the testes where the sperms are being formed. So if that happens, uh, the man will suffer from low sperm count. And also these tumors to be treated if they are cancerous, they will be treated through radiation, chemotherapy. And all this process might cause uh, infertility or the person will suffer from low sperm count because of the damage that chemotherapy and radiation uh, cause, uh, cause. Also immune disorder where some men have anti-sperm antibody that makes, uh, that mistake the sperm for foreign and begin to attack themselves as if they are, were harmful. Yeah, we have some, some conditions or it is called immune disorders. Your body just identify a specific cell or a specific fluid or a specific thing inside your body and it fight against it. So you find that this person will uh, produce pumps which are not quality. Uh, we have a problem with the sperm duct. If, if you have the man have a problem with the sperm duct, also, this one can contribute to low sperm count. 
whereby I said um, maybe uh, uh, can be caused by congenital abnormality. Maybe the person was born with the defect, or maybe the person suffered from uh, STIs, the gonorrhea, the syphilis, the chlamydia, which can be treated. If you don't treat them, then you will have this. You will have a defect in the sperm duct, and then the sperm count will set in. We have chromosomal defect. There are certain chromosomal disorder that cause abnormal development of the male reproductive organ. For example, uh, we have um, Klinefelter's Klinefelter syndrome, where a man is born with two X chromosome and Y chromosome instead of only one one. It is called Klinefelter's. I don't know if that is the pro pronunciation. You find that a man is born with two X and Y chromosome. Yeah, two X and Y chromosome. Then the person will suffer from low sperm count. Yeah, because there is that uh, chromosomal defect. Yeah, I think those are some of the reasons. And also, if you have a heart diseases if you have uh, obesity or not obesity diabetes which is caused by obesity and overweight those uh, medical conditions can also contribute to low sperm count so guys i'm going to stop from there if you like our content or if you like this content kindly subscribe like the video share comment don't forget to turn your notification bell so that every time i post a video you'll be the first person to be notified bye till next time let's meet in the next video